you start out with juror number one and work your way through. Okay. We really do what we have. E within an hour, we had every juror's home phone Wasn't number. Wasn't juror number one the foreman? Yeah. No, uh, oh, yeah, juror number one, right? Oh, is it juror number three? No, juror number three was the white woman, I thought. We're going to poll the jury right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask that white woman. You got the white woman on there? I don't know. I can't tell who. You can't tell race by the name? Well, wait, I, is, is Yolanda the white woman? Uh, I would say not. Let me see that. Let me see that list. Let me see that list. <laughs> hmm, holy mackerel. Let me see. No, that's a black woman. <laughs> that is a black. No. That is somebody black. <laughs> I've never seen a name like this. <laughs> can we can we say this name? I don't know. You supposed to say the names? I don't know. Well, they're writing their names in the papers. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. Like this is this what Reiko. <laughs> Reiko. She was married to that. No. Jack oh, yeah. Oh, that's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's Watson. Mm. Sheila. Sheila could be white. Yolanda. No. Armanda, no. <laughs> what are the last names? Let's, uh, Let's see. Like the dead president. David might be white. No, there's no, there's no white guys on the jury, right? No. no. There's one black man. Lionel is no white person. There's a Marsha. Try Marsha. She could be white. I could have sworn well, I got she the was birthday juror here. number three. This person's uh, my, a little younger than me, so. Oh, here's someone who was. How old was the white woman? Like 60? She was older. Because okay. there's one person here, yeah, 1940, 1944. That's that her. That would make somebody 50. Oh, what? Yeah, there's one. there was one woman that was born in 1921. The date of birth is 21. That would make her 74. 22, right there. No, that was... Uh, the alternate. That was and the, that's yeah. an alternate juror. Yeah. All right, let's see. This is year 1921. What's his alternate? Hold on, hold on. I'll find it. 1957, 1951, 1943. Maybe in there. 44, 70, 30, 1934. What number is That's it? That's it. It's number three. That's what I said. Yeah. That's uh, Anise. Give her a call. i got to ask her how a white person could do that. Give her a call. Tell her I need to talk to her. Tell her you got to copy Uncle Milty's tape. What's the matter? Some of these don't have phone numbers. The one before it has a phone number. Well, you got an address. You can go look it up. Okay. I'll go, go ahead. While we're doing the news, you can keep breaking in if you get a hold okay. of some jurors. I mean, the black jurors, I know what's on their mind. That's That's been made clear. Well. Oh, come on. What, don't give me a well. <laughs> <laughs> You're First still of all, jumping to conclusions. Yeah, right. These folks were afraid to go back to their communities. I mean, can you but imagine? But I would like to hear that. Yes, I thought he was guilty, but I was afraid he'd uh, Oh yeah. I'd well, they'll never ostracized. say that. No, they'll never say that. <laughs> can you imagine? And that's the fault of, of uh, Judge Ito. If we provide them with anonymity. Can you imagine a year? These people had a year to bond and get the whole story straight. And, and, and it's ridiculous that that trial took a year, and it's ridiculous that O.J.'s free, and it's just ridiculous that Johnny Cochran's going around crowing like he's a good attorney. Well, he's never lost to the uh, L.A. prosecutor's office. No. <laughs> as long as he gets the right jury. Because, I mean, his defense was <laughs> I don't know what his other juries have looked like. That's why I say the TV cameras were good. And O.J.'s calling into Larry King. And listen to this. With us on the phone now is O.J. Simpson. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Fulhai. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Why wouldn't oh, yeah. why didn't somebody do yeah. that? A Baba Booey. A Baba Booey. Baba <laughs> uh, uh How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. And uh, Oh, my God. It's oh sickening. Boy. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I feel great. He's alive. <laughs> one, I want to thank you, um, a lot, you know, a lot because so many of my friends have told me that you've been fair. <laughs> now the spin is that the media has been unfair. Now, now put this together for you, folks. The media has been unfair to OJ. That's the new spin. This had nothing to do with the media. This this court case was on TV. People could formulate their own opinion. All you had to do is tune in. You could see everything yourself. It had nothing to do with reading the coverage, because everyone could see it for themselves. Now think about that. Now they're going to tell you the media put a spin on this. No, no. This is a case that we all saw, OJ. They say he wouldn't have gotten two words out. I would have been all over him. And uh, in hosting your show and bringing uh, the points of view from both sides, I want to thank Mr. Calhoun for taking the time out of his life. Sounds like O.J. in prison learned a few, uh, took a few elocution lessons. Do <laughs> so you got any big words? Someone told me he uses some big words. I, I think there are a few. Yeah. 
when he starts to get going, when he, yeah. his anger comes up. I would like to anti disestablishment terrorism <laughs> you. <laughs> he needs electrocution lessons. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, I know it had to be tough for him. And most of all, I want to thank that man, <laughs> Mr. Johnny Cochran, for believing from the beginning, listening, and putting his heart and soul on the line uh, to, to send me home and spend time that I'm spending right now. I would have turned out you said, OJ, I got to be honest with you. If I see you in public, I'm going to walk away from you. I got to tell you, that's what I'm advising any decent, hardworking human being to do, to make it as uncomfortable as I can for you. No, uh, Larry's going to go out and do pay-per-view specials. Now, here's your pay-per-view special. What do you think? This is what it's going to be. How could you order that thing? Don't pay for that. I understand, though, it's a $15 million advance. That means OJ will get the money. Well, hopefully the lawyers will get it. I could live with that better than I can O.J. sitting and living it up. What lawyers? I don't know. Maybe he's owes some money. Maybe they could come up with a cockamamie bill. I heard the whole defense only cost them five mil. That's what they're saying now. Yeah. It's my kids. As Look at all those kids. Imagine when this kid, like when uh, Sydney, is that her name? Sydney? Mm -hmm. Sydney? Sydney. When Sydney grows up. Sydney. Whatever. <laughs> when Sydney grows up and then she starts to read and learn about her father in this court case, she can read the transcripts and she goes, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> what kind of life is that kid going to have? Daddy, did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> no, honey. I was framed by the, the white man. Right. Then why are you sleeping with so many white women? Mm. Well, <laughs> well, I'm paying them back. I don't understand how those two questions go together. I'm no. paying back the white man <laughs> for all the bad he did to me. Won't OJ be too busy looking for the real killer to do the pay-per-view? Well, the, that's probably why he needs the money. He's going to spend a lot of money trying to find his I real see. murderers. I will uh, deputize myself and help him look Officer for the real... Officer OJ. Imagine I go looking for it and I find out it's OJ. Officer OJ. Officer OJ. Sure, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I will arrest myself. <laughs> I have made a citizen's arrest. <laughs> Who did you find, OJ? me <laughs> <laughs> but i can't be prosecuted say all of this you know i i've been watching your show and i and and i i don't really have a lot to say now and, uh, and pretty soon yeah, i gotta save it for the pay-per-view right. i don't I haven't thought it up yet larry king will ask him softball questions johnny cotton can write all the questions for larry king and larry will go along with it because larry wants larry's a little kiss ass what is larry all beaming oh he's the first person to get a hold of oj <laughs> i've uh, got another clue. Hey, i've got him and I'm not going to say anything to jeopardize. Huh. I wonder I how many screeners he had last yeah. night for the yeah. oh, have all uh, I have enough to say to everybody and hopefully answer everyone's questions. But uh, one of your callers, a lady, called a minute ago, and she asked the question about a shadowy figure running down a hall. I mean, running down the driveway and across the lawn yeah. and into the front door. Let me say that was to me that's one of the problems. <laughs> one of the problems I'm having this day with with people who followed this trial, they have not listened to the evidence. <laughs> Don't worry, we, we're pretty smart, OJ. We listen to the evidence. Now I will tell you what he saw. <laughs> yeah, what's he saying to me? Yeah. All right, let's see. Marcia Clark said a person ran across the driveway. Marcia Clark has said that all along. That is not what Alan Park said. Oh. Alan Park said 15 feet roughly from my front door, which it was me walking out of my front door, dropping my bags and going back in. He marked it. They put a display up. Put an X. She asked him, put an X where you saw this person. 15 feet. Never on the driveway. <laughs> never coming down the driveway. Never crossing the uh, driveway. Now he's all full of fire. Yes, but Alan Park said the guy was in dark clothes and OJ came out to the car after supposedly now putting out his luggage yeah, in dark clothes. He came out in light clothes. But Larry doesn't say anything. Larry's like, oh, okay. Mm. I buy it. What? Talk about a media feeding frenzy. Yeah. In 10 minutes, I could have juror number two's mother, if you want. Super. <laughs> Give me juror number two's yeah, mother. I'll take anybody. She just needs a couple minutes to get, you know, oh, good. wake up. Good, good, oh. good. But she did take my number and my name and number because she's keeping a list. Excellent. And her daughter will be returning every call. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to get to talk to a juror. Well, juror's mother. I would love to. Juror number two's mother. Okay. Well, she can tell us what her daughter's right. thinking. She's a spokesperson. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> the OJ. Like, that is the testimony. I mean, throughout this case, it's been this misrepresentation time and time again. <laughs> People come home from work, and they hear the pundits 
uh, elaborating on these misrepresentations. Listen to the, what the witness said. Listen to what their testimony is and not what Marsha Clark told you. So oh. that's... Okay. Oh. So is it the reporters or Marsha Clark? That Marsha Clark doing? framed him. Right. So why didn't he answer the door if he was home, walking around? Right. What? I don't mean to bother you, Howard, but, you know, Uncle Murphy's still sitting in the green room. Yeah. I don't think he's going to leave until you give out that 800 number. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I forgot. I apologize. I didn't realize there was an 800 number, Uncle Milty. Um, yeah. Now, listen. If you want to get Uncle Milty, God bless Uncle Milty. If you want to get Uncle Milty's low-impact, high-comedy workout tape and get it for people, listen, buy it as a gift, for God's sake. You know, you know there are people who need it. And I, you know who I'm getting it for? I'm getting it for Robin because she's overworking out. Do you understand? This is something where you do on it, you know, you, yeah, you go, oh, I can do this. This is easy. This is easy workout. It's too easy for me. Rob, you got to go mountain climbing. <laughs> no, you just sit I there. I haven't climbed any mountains. You put on Uncle Milty's tape, you laugh a little bit, you work out a little bit, and then every day it's like a little drop in the bucket, and before you know it, everything's gone. Everything's gone. Now, let me give you the number. 1-800-538-4488. What I like about this tape is you laugh also. You know, who wants to sit there and listen to Richard Simmons? I mean, he's uh, very effeminate. 1-800-538-4488. Okay? That's Uncle Milty's number. Buy it in honor of Uncle Milty's penis. Oh. It's huge. <laughs> really, man. Thank you, RJ. How does he get rid of it for those drag guys? Uh, you know, oh. he's in a little workout outfit. Bra and a harness for men who are overly <laughs> endowed. It's like a cobra. And Uncle Milty has to wear a special harness when he dresses up in drag. Because it's so huge. <laughs> <laughs> and he has to tuck it so he looks like a woman when he's in full drag. And it's a remarkable transformation. You would swear nothing was there. Well, that's what, you know, because I was looking at that photograph you showed me, and I didn't see any telltale sign. He tucks it. He tucks it in. And he's huge. Howard Hughes was a genius. Absolutely. I'll bet you um, George Burns isn't uh, half the size Uncle Milty is. <laughs> that would be my guess. So God bless Uncle Milty. Here's his number again, 1-800-538-4488. Boy, uh, Larry King all full of himself, huh? He's got OJ. Now, let Marsha Clark, let Marsha Clark frame me. He sounds pretty. He sounds pretty happy. Got the whole thing going. Yes, he's a free man. Good for him. Listen, God bless him. I asked my mother about it last night. She says, "Well, karma. Something is, you know." So what do you mean? Like someone's gonna kill him or something? She goes, "No, no, that's not what I mean. He has to live with it." I said, "I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna really think about it." He doesn't sound like a threat. He doesn't sound. He sounds like he's over it. But. Not what Darden told you, and that has been the big problem, fortunately for me. Yeah, hey, they're just lawyers doing their job and presenting the evidence. Yeah, why, why listen to what uh, Johnny Cochran told you? Right. What do you mean, Johnny Cochran's the only one who knows anything? No other lawyer knows? The jury listened to what the witnesses said. No, the jury was black and just kind of caved they into peer to pressure. Johnny. Yeah. Hey, come on, you know, come, do what I'm talking about. Huh. That honky Chris Darden is a bad man. <laughs> Poor Chris Darden got booed at his church, Robin told me. You know, when I look at it and I say, all right, there, I've got Chris Darden telling me a story and Johnny Cochran telling me I'll a story. I'll take it from Chris Darden Which any day. Which guy am I going to believe? Who would I buy the used car from? Chris Darden. That's a good question. Who would I buy the used car from? Chris Darden. Yeah. He didn't and look like the kind of guy to me who would go along with a, a trumped-up story right. and a bunch of uh, fake evidence against a guy. Yep. The witnesses said, and not Mark Clark's or Darn's or anyone else's rendition of what they said. So, Miss, I, I didn't get your name. There was no shadowy figure coming down the driveway and going across the uh, uh, driveway. That's what Marshall Clark told you. That's not what Alan Park told you. OJ, uh, 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 how would, okay. you, would you describe yourself as relieved? Angry? What? A, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I think my, my, my basic anger, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before I leave. Yeah, because i got to save up for the pay-per-view. I'm partying. Right. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, we're over here at the party. <laughs> OJ, the big star. Oh, man, it makes me sick. Oh, God, what's happened? My basic anger is these misconceptions. My basic anger is people I've heard said I followed the case. I've heard experts say this was the testimony today. And that wasn't the testimony today. There was so many times I went back to my cell and I watched TV. I go to my uh, attorney room. I talk to uh, my attorneys and some witnesses. And we say, were these experts looking at the same or hearing? Are they in the same courtroom that we were in today? Did they hear the testimony today? Because what they were reporting on the news, what they were... He's so, he can't Is even believe it. Is this guy you want to uh, get upset? Yeah, he can't, <laughs> he can't even believe that he's out. He, he couldn't believe it. It's it's just, he's the luckiest man on the planet. He's not only lucky because you, be, you, you get the luck of being a football player, but All the luck of... All he's thinking about is making more money. Yep. He's thinking about changing his image. He still hasn't thought about the fact that his ex-wife was killed. <laughs> he yeah. still hasn't told cared. Him. I can't believe. He still hasn't said one word. Yeah, it's old news. Somebody, you know, you remind him. It's old news. Of, uh, yeah. uh, that letter he wrote when uh, he was supposedly attempting suicide yeah. in the back of that van. And once again, he never had any, uh, there was never a show of caring or, no. or sadness or concern that his wife was killed. He saw him on these various shows was not what the witnesses were saying. And once again, that lady will call in. <laughs> Look at the testimony. <laughs> Marsha Clark told you that. Look at Larry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, OJ. Alan Parks. I wonder if Cato was at the party. I hope I hope they're going to reward him for his great testimony. Oh, he Cato, my my brother in broadcasting. I hope Cato has zero rating. You know, I, I've never yet seen the ratings for uh, Cato's show, but I'm hoping it's zero. I know he's on the same station as me, but I hope it's zero. Cato, I'm sure it is because otherwise they'd be faxing me all the ratings and showing off how great they're doing. Pretty sure the audience has rejected him. Jesus Christ, Cato and OJ, I'm sick of all of them. My role model is Christopher Darden. That's who I look up to. Hard-working man. And Marsha Clark. And not Gil Garcetti, who's such a fool that he had to move the venue because he had to prove to black people something. I'll tell you right. that. A couple of quick things. Uh, I'll let no, you I got to go. All right. well, can you just really tell us, go. How was, what was it like with the Thank kids you. today? What it, was it, it like with the kids? It's been great. It's been great. Thank God, bless you. Bless you, OJ. Thank Thank you. You. Bless, bless, you. And bless you, OJ. Bless you, OJ. Bless you, OJ. Bless, bless, you, you. bless you, my guilty friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I appreciate what, how fair you've been. Thank you. Thank you. I guess from that, thanks, OJ, he will be making a statement. I gather he's going to come forward in some forum. I think he will be soon. His voice sounded very strong. Oh, yes, he has resolved nobody, none of the lawyers even, <laughs> knew the facts. Oh, I, I can't take him. Nobody. Nobody knew the facts. Like, O.J. should be an attorney. Uh, he was marvelous. He, he understood the whole case better than F. Lee, F. U. Bailey. Whatever that man's name is. O.J. is a genius. He's going to do brain surgery now. Yeah. It's a waste to have this man doing football commentary when he could be operating on the heads of people. <laughs> he should operate on the jury. Oh, this O.J. is a genius now. This O.J. took us in there. He, he masterminded the entire defense. He wanted to testify. Not that Jew, Shapiro. It was O.J. And I see O.J. <laughs> yeah. O.J. gonna operate on me. Uh, ins install a, a conscience in my brain <laughs> so I can sleep at night. In a heart. In a heart. <laughs> so uh, that's what I want to say in uh, Hoda Magaro. <laughs> Mr. Johnny. Well, the OJ is out. Well, I'm glad. I like it. Makes it more interesting. I wonder if the party is still going on. Oh, over at the mansion. Oh, hoofa. Where is that called? Rockingham. Rockingham, Rockingham yes. Rockingham. Stabbing him. Stabbing him. It'll be rocking over at Rockingham. It's rocking. They probably have a band over there rocking right they now. They had a live band. Did they really? The night of the, the acquittal. Great. Oh, the band should be proud of themselves. If the band had any balls, they would have said, oh, Mr. O.J. Simpson, we don't go to his house. He is being shunned. 
and they, shamed. Um, unfortunately, Howard, there were so many people there. Many of the lawyers had trouble getting through the crowd to get to OJ. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What is it? Okay, on the phone is uh, juror number two's mom. Okay. She's, you know, pretty busy. Very nice lady. Very nice. Because there's a lot of people calling the house. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hello? One second. Hello, ma'am? Hello? Hi. Hello? I can't y hear anything. Stick, why don't you stick there? She might have gone to a call waiting for oh, a second. Oh, I see. She said it's been really busy. Hello? We have jury, juror number two's mom on the, on the line, Robin. This is as close as we can get. I wonder, wait a second. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. There we are. It's my equipment. I think oh. you were there and it was my equipment. Okay. So, anyway, even though you didn't sit on the jury. You've talked to your daughter? Yes. What do you make of it? I mean, are you blown out by this? I mean, didn't you think O.J. was guilty? Well, I guess it doesn't matter what I thought. No. I mean, it doesn't. But, I mean, deep down inside, I mean, don't you feel like she let out a, f a guilty man? No. What, what I really felt like was um, they followed the law. And I think, uh, you know, even her after hearing this, after being locked up for so many months, and then to come out and hear the comments that they're hearing on TV, sometimes right. they can read a newspaper, you know, their negative things regarding the jury. Right. The problem they see is with the law, not in what they did, because they followed the law. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. I, I kind of think, like, I think there was a lot of pressure there. I mean, I, I take it you live in a black community? No, I live in a mixed community. Mixed community? I guess it would have been hard to come out and, you know, when you're black, and to just sort of no. walk out and be the one person who said, hey, man, O.J.'s guilty. I mean, it's, it's a lot of pressure. No, that would never have entered um, her mind. You see, you know, I don't know. I want to believe you, but well, I just think O.J. was so guilty. I mean, let's say, let's say Furman's a racist, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go with that, all right? It, it, no it, doubt. There's no doubt he's a racist. This could have been a white person. It would have been the same thing. You know, and, and that's what I'm saying. You know, there has it, never it's been not an that, it's, it's the law. This is something that happens every day. There it happens every day. They, and they now ignore that it. was so publicized, they want to bring in even a race issue. Race never entered any of those jurors' minds when they made their determination. I think if Nicole and Ron, I mean, here you have O.J. Simpson, who not only battered his first wife, but battered this woman. She left behind the history of battering. Uh, O.J.'s blood evidence. Forget Furman and the glove and all that stuff. How did they get O.J.'s blood all over the place? Uh, you know, how did they do it? I you know, you'd you have know. to be the amazing Randy to do it. Well, I'll tell you I just, I wish I could talk to your daughter. I can't figure out, like, how you, I mean, I know, man, you know, it's like, yeah, the system's been awful to black people. I'm hip to that, man. It's no, I don't mean to black people. The system, the system, the law itself, uh, the shadow of it out, reasonable doubt, Mm. There, there, there's just big questions there. You know, you know what? I, I gotta tell you something. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Not one time did I ever watch the trial. I never really? watched it because I thought it was a circus. I right. never watched well, it. Well, that you're right about. And uh, all I did was I could get the recaps from what the news stations and the newspapers were putting. There was reasonable doubt. And I don't know. I, and I thought to myself, any human being, any human being with any kind of common sense would see reasonable doubt. You know what I'll tell you? I'll tell you something. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta understand what a juror's job is, and uh, and and the I history. I was a juror. I was a juror. I was on sitting on a juror for five months on a kidnap, rape, and murder trial. For I see. Five months. So the history, uh, the history of of uh, take Charles Manson. Let's take some high profile cases. Mm -hmm. Charles Manson. Uh, listen, Charles Manson was not at the scene of any murders. It was a bunch of people who said Manson told us to go kill. It was their word against his. There has never been more overwhelming evidence. Short of a videotape of O.J. actually slaughtering these two people. But you say... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get the history. There was, there was, they showed, I saw that evidence, too, but, uh, you know, like I'm saying, but there was reasonable doubt in so many other no, instances. No, no, his car wasn't there, and the limo driver had no axe to grind. He wasn't a racist. Well, he was just know, a guy okay. trying... I never watched the trial. I'm, I'm telling you. Really ask your daughter about the limo the driver. Mm, pardon me? You gotta ask your daughter about the limo driver. Listen. To me, it's an issue of race because only like, like mostly black people saw him as innocent, and mostly white people saw him as guilty. Well, you know, I, I don't even think that's true. I mean, and, and it's really hard to even, I guess, get that yeah. point across to you. But no, not her, not her. Would and you let your daughter? Her family, uh, would you let your daughter date OJ? I don't care who my daughter dates. I don't. Well, wouldn't you be nervous date. around the dating? I mean, a guy who was a wife beater. Would you be? I mean, that's proven. We know that he was a wife beater, don't we? No, I mean, that's what I've heard. Yeah, he was convicted of that. Oh, okay, then, yeah, he was. Would you let your daughter date him? I, my daughter is her own person. I no, but I'm saying, let's say she asked you advice. She said, Mom, O.J. fell in love with me during the trial. He was staring at me, and I'm a beautiful woman, and, you know, he fell in love with me. I'm thinking about dating. I still wouldn't have any opinion. Really? I you don't, wouldn't give her no. advice? 
No. No, I don't. Well, I'd give her advice. No. I would tell her not to date him. But then you're not her mother. No, I'm not. I, I wish no, I was. I, mean, I would have. If you asked me as, as her mother, would no. I? You would I never give your daughter advice? Her personal opinion. Really? I, no. no. No kidding. No. Now, we're very close. I'm not even her, just mm -hmm. her mother. I'm her best friend. But, uh, and I guess if she would ask me in a situation. Any I book mean, deal yet? Pardon me? A book deal yet? No. For your daughter? No? No. Is she thinking about it? She's not thought about anything. She's not talked to anyone. Mm -hmm. She's not. She's just trying to regroup. This has been very hard on them. Oh, yes. I'm going to tell you something. That was a travesty of justice. No way any jury should be sequestered for a year. This trial could have been over within three weeks. Well, I absolutely agree with you on that. And I'll tell you something. Mm -hmm. uh, that Judge Ito should be boiled in oil for what, the, what he did to uh, the jury. He is a, he's a fool. Believe me, he is. This we can agree on. This is a, this is a, this man does not is not fit to sit on the bench. What he did to your daughter, making her sit there for a year for this nonsense. They should have ripped the cameras out of there. I understand about how long the trial took, Howard, but how could they come to a decision in that short period of time? Oh, please, uh, listen, listen. Well, I'm, listen. We're not talking to the actual juror. We're talking to the jury. Uh, maybe she asked her daughter. How come? It no, I have not. We have not discussed. You haven't even before. discussed it. No. You're kidding. No. You're not curious about it. Well, sure, I'm curious about it, but she's not ready to discuss anything. Like she probably wants to. Uh, she probably wants to wait for the book, but her own mother, she no. should discuss it with. She should discuss it with her own mother. She wants to wait for what book? You know what I'm saying. She's got to do some kind of book. I think that all the jurors should get together and do a book. I don't think the individual jurors. Here's no, the it other should thing. be a book by the jury. Yeah, because the individual jurors cannot get that much money for a book. No one will buy it. So you got to advise your together. daughter. They got to all band together and do some sort of book. Well, like I said, I mean, you know, she has a mind of her own. Yes. You know. Yeah. Ah, boy, I wish she would have been the one to hang up the jury. I wish she would have been the one to say, look, let's stop the nonsense. You know, as, I was so shocked that all women, women, well, especially women in the black community, have seen such abuse, you know, abuse at the hands of, of, of uh, there's a tremendous amount of battery, uh, you know, men yeah, and women right? fighting. Oh, uh, yeah, the, poli the police um, are filled with, uh, what do you call it, uh, domestic disputes. Amongst blacks? Oh, yes, it's very high in the black community. Yeah. That's why I was hoping that the women would say, you know what, for once we're going to put together, we're going to put away you know, a wife abuse. The women on there didn't have never experienced that. No, I didn't say they experienced it, but they know about it, and they, and they know about how, how men mean, can how, be. How would they have to know about it? My daughter was one of the youngest jurors on there. Really? She's never experienced that. Thank She's God. never experienced all of the race issues that they want to really? bring in here. Exa uh, yeah, but there's tremendous know. pressure when you're when you're on a jury like that, and everyone you know is black, and everyone's feeling the pressure to you know no, come up with you with. See, you keep throwing in those issues. I visited all of those jurors. Really? There, there were the things that you're saying. Yeah. They don't make sense. Don't they know. don't add up to any of the people that I met. Really? The whole ten months that they were there. No. I can't no. figure out the white jurors. What's what's their story? What are they from another planet? I mean, did you meet with them too? I sure did. Whoa. Well, there weren't that many of them. There were two of them. <laughs> well, there were only two left. I guess they just fell in with the whole... The whole you I know. told you what the one woman, her, her daughter says. That right. She j in the face of Mark Furman, she had no argument. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, throw out Mark Furman. Throw him out. She, Where's the limo she driver? She couldn't argue. She just was, she right. was flabbergasted. Right. Because you know she what it is? What this Mark is. Furman is despicable. There's no question about that. We know he's despicable. Mm -hmm. We know, let's say every cop is racist beyond a reasonable doubt, okay? But this isn't okay. about the cops. This is about how did they get a hold of O.J.'s blood? <laughs> it was still all over everything. Let's say he planted the glove. You can't just get the blood by, um, w you know, magic. It's, it was there that night. All these guys saw blood, they took samples, and they found Mr. O.J. Simpson's blood. Good night, go away for life. That's the end of the case. That's what I say. That's what I say. I'm not a, listen, I, I'm no Kojak, but I can figure these cases out. Mm -hmm. I cannot figure out what the hell went on except for the race issue. I mean, that's, that's it, plain yeah. and simple. I, I don't as Malcolm that. said, the chickens will come home to roost, and they have. No, you're, you're really on, you're on the wrong planet. Think so? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that. I really do. Well, well listen, we don't have to talk to everybody. I will. I listen. Eventually, I'll get to talk to somebody. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta figure this whole thing out. And the world is relying on me to figure it out because oh. I am like so brilliant. I'm like, well, I, I, you know, I think you should just move on to the next <laughs> person. Oh. I, you know, yeah. I, I can't help you there. No. So you sure your daughter doesn't want to talk to me? But I, I'm positive. My daughter's not here though. Oh, um, you're kidding. You're, no, I do have my other phone. Is she at OJ's? Could you hold, excuse me? Would she ever party with O.J.? I doubt it. Really? Uh -huh. well, what if he says... Okay, just a moment. What if he says... I'm sorry, I'm yeah. going to have to... Uh, okay, well, you've been very nice to speak with me. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
I think it was the race issue. That was funny. <laughs> well, it may not have been. Again, yeah, okay. you're still <laughs> jumping to a conclusion. Yeah. I just know they found him innocent. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to puke. Well, it wasn't race. And, and I, I know a I guy not gave tell him a black power sign. That's all I know. I would not tell my daughter not to date Mr. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> I don't tell her who to date. <laughs> I think, you know, I think you can step in once in a while and maybe give an opinion if you think your daughter's doing well, the wrong thing. Well, that's your opinion. He's yeah. too rich for her to have an opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I'm going to vomit all over Jackie. Oh. Now that I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell anybody. If you have to do it, you have to do it. Just kidding, man. Uh, all right, uh, let's take a break and, you know, do some news and go home. No other jurors? Well, tomorrow. Some of them will pop somewhere here or there. Yeah. Well, I'd act, I like to talk, actually, to a juror. Yeah. I don't know if you'll get any any more you honest to story. <laughs> no, it <laughs> doesn't make any you sense. Know, nobody's ever going to tell you that Ray's had anything to do with it, right. do you really think? No, well, absolutely not. I wish someone would be honest and go, yeah, you think I'm going back to South Central? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> You're listening to a man who prefers to hide behind a telephone answering machine to avoid just about everybody.